Alright, I started recording a little bit late after I selected the level. It's called Poison Pond. This is right where you start, though. I haven't gone anywhere. I realized I forgot to press record. Um, this level is hell. Let me just say that right now. It's an absolute hell. There's traps. There's... It's just hell. It's just a hell level. Those fish blend in like you saw right there if you even saw it go back and look near the bottom of the screen the stupid ass jellyfish and spinning tires underwater if you overcorrect you go right up into something and die there's another fish see how it blends in right as it gets to the edge right where it needs to blend in to kill you there's gonna be a fish that comes out I'll just go right up into it. I don't remember a lot about this level, which is going to probably end up screwing me. Alright, at least there's a barrel here. Remember these, you go like down and then up, yep. These are definitely, we're in the levels now where, as a kid, you didn't really play these levels. Why? Well, if you owned the game, you played it like once you beat it. If you went to a friend's house, you guys would start a campaign or something, you'd start new, you wouldn't, you know, in one sitting, you'd either switch the games, you'd die or whatever, and it'd be done, you wouldn't get this far. And you probably didn't make it to Candy to save or something, or it was your brother you were playing with or something like that, so the next time you play, oh, there's a continue, the next time you play, you start the game anew. And you would just can continue playing the same opening levels, which are the ones I think everyone remembers the most. And because if someone, you know, if someone who played Donkey Kong Country, and you said, "Hey, remember, you know, when you're there in, in the first level, and you can go into DK's house," and okay, don't need that, and the and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, dude, I remember that," and ride in the Rhino and the Rain level. Then be like, "Well, do you remember the Poison Pond at the?" you know, the oil factory, and they're gonna be like, uh, no, I don't. Be like, yeah, neither did I, to be honest. Of course, I don't do any trial runs, which could be my downfall, which is why I die a lot. I don't do any practice files. I don't, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily call playing, it would be, oh, watch out, he comes back. I wouldn't call it playing the game blind, since I have played the game before. Yeah, jeez, 18, yeah, I don't even know, so many, when it came out, we got it, so who knows how many years ago that was. Okay, this, this area I remember is a little risky, because it's this one right here. You gotta really take off, hold right on the D-pad, and you barely make it in before that thing takes over. Now, I'm gonna explain something about what's gonna happen. There's the right arrow, I paused the game. That means the finish line is literally right on, you know, just a small stretch away. We have to go through hell to make it. There's going to be fish. It starts darting at me. Then there's going to be a fast one. This area I remember. See, boom. Then we're going to go back to the slow ones. And then the fast one. And you may think, like, well, just hover around the middle and just dodge the fast one. You definitely don't want to be at the top. That's fine. But they come out of the bottom and hold on. Wait till we get to the, uh, the, 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 the obstacle. Okay, the next fish, I believe, is gonna come fast through the middle. I don't even need that. Yep, there he is. And you'd be like, well, it's just, you know, one area. Well, when you can only go through a limited number of areas to get by that thing, the speeding fish are very important. And we can beat it, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes. Let's go see what the old man has to say before... Sure, come on over. Beats talking to myself. Why does he have huts everywhere? The crafty carcopus corner is great. Yeah, that's great. He can't really fly, but it's just so the ostrich can flutter about. Make sure to shut the gate on your way out. I didn't raise you in a barn. I love how it said Nintendo like above, like the cameos. Like, it says Nintendo above his hut and stuff like that. Minecart madness. Why does this have bad news written all over it? Like, before we even do anything, like, me and the minecart levels, even on Donkey Kong Country Returns, 
do not do well together. Oh, good. Let's just get in a minecart because it went so well the first time, you know? And at least the thing stays under us. Why, why am I even going for, uh, for the letters? I don't even know. I think this is an alternate track. Can you duck in there? No, you can't duck while in there. Oh, DK. Almost didn't land back inside there. Looks like you could have fallen and got in that, uh... There's the continue. Hmm. Gee, I had no idea that the minecart would keep going. For some reason I thought it stayed with you. Shows what I know. Oh. That's awesome. Just start, just boom. Just... Just boom right into me. Just can't let a loss for words. Just boom. Because I tried to duck. Because in Donkey Kong Country Returns, you can duck inside of the minecart. Yeah, let me just waste my life and go for that. The tire up there. Great. This is just going to be a disaster, isn't it? Is there even. I, I gotta go talk to Candy. She's down here. Make sure I save that poison swamp level, because I only have a couple continues left. Oh yay, I've beaten the game one more whole percent. Now I feel very, very accomplished. Now what happens when you die is you'll come back with like five lives or whatever, and wherever you saved. So if I didn't go back and save at Candy, every level I beat after saving obviously would not be beat. And then you'd proceed to kill yourself because of all the pain and suffering that you can't even jump through two freaking bees because they put the one on the top there so I kind of tap it because I'm afraid that I'm going to kill myself and it just ends up screwing me in the end over and over royally. There, I went for this. Maybe it'll put me past the bees, swordfish. Swordfish comes after Rhino. Swordfish comes after Rhino. Here we go. I don't think I have any swordfishes though, so perhaps I should have timed that better and get the Rhino. Regardless, let's see where this puts me. Oh, right back down here. That's so... right at the bee. At least I passed the bees. Uh, you know, a DK barrel would be nice. Oh, what the hell. If you don't hit that just right. Ah! Yeah, don't, I mean, don't, you know, don't feel the need to... Follow the bananas, follow the bananas. Don't feel the need to give me Diddy Kong so I have a chance of winning. Wait, just wait. The exit, roll through, baby, yes! Baby, yes! Now, when you're this high, Funky Flights does become useful because you can finally go back to the map and you could go farm lives, like from the first level and stuff like that. But we don't have to do that. Alright, I did go and save real quick and now we're in the blackout basement. Oh, just wonderful because I knew. Or I had a feeling this was the level, I shouldn't say I knew, I had a feeling this was the level where the lights just went on and off and you couldn't see anything when that happened. Wow, that's called timing. There is a guy coming, there's you two. You gotta plan what you're gonna do beforehand, definitely. And a little bit of prayer and a little bit of luck. Gosh, I hope these platforms don't fall. Warning, do not play this game if you are likely to have a seizure. Because this game will cause them. For sure, one, two, three. Pick this up for defense. coming. I barely caught a glimpse of him. Figured there'd be another one. Oh, a moving platform. 
great. On a level that the lights go out, let's just add moving platforms. You know, up, down, one. This is good, so it'll come back on right as it's going down. Um, <sighs> I feel bad I'm not talking a lot, but... A lot of the stuff, you just gotta time. Look at it, figure out where it is. By now you should know how far DK can jump and how it is and you gotta kinda just go with it. You're only gonna see glimpses of things, you gotta do a lot of planning. Where on your monitor was the ledge. Now why do I think that this thing falls? It does. Alright, there was sound. I just heard the chomping which meant they're close which meant get the hell out. Once again, you just judge the distance and you go. Could you mess up here? Certainly. Okay, let's see now we're not going to go too far ahead. That should be fine. Did I get the other letters? I missed the M. A sign that is pointing back. Okay, good. Glad they showed you what was down here. Exit. Yes! Boss time? I think that's boss time right here. Boss dumb drum. Okay, do I remember this guy? Is this just the whoa? What the? That's all he is, is a drum that sends out units. Tries to smash it apparently. The snakes go to the corner, so that's good to know. Let's try to get this guy into the corner. as possible, roll out of the way, run, 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 okay, it smashed Diddy, but remember, Diddy is not controlled by us, okay, now look, if we would not have had Donkey Kong, those big guys would not have gotten smashed, those guys you have to hit twice, that's it, that was it? That was it? <laughs> yes! Dumb drum indeed. Indeed.